All right, so today I want to show a cool new tool that's available in the Chrome DevTools, and it has to do with monitoring events. Now, I've got a simple little page here. I've got a form. I put IDs on the form element, the input, and the button, so I can target those in, in the console, uh, target them easily in the console. And in my script, I'm listening for click events on my list. I'm listening for the submit event, the input event on the email field, and the key press event. So we've got all these different events, and they're all calling functions here. But the only thing I'm doing in any of them is preventing default on the submit. So I'm not actually doing anything with them. Now, if you've ever used console.log to track what's happening with events or figure out, OK, I've got an event. What are the properties that I have available to me inside there? Well, this is going to help you out quite a bit. Inside the browser, you can see I can click on things. I can click the submit. I can type inside here. Nothing's going on in the console because I'm not doing anything. I'm not using console.log to write anything out. But I do have access now in the console to this new function, monitor events. Inside of here, let's. I've got a whole bunch of ones that I've been playing around with here. So let's take this first one. On the body, I'm going to listen for the key down event. Okay, there it is. Click back up here so I'm focused on the page. Now I can use my arrow keys. So there we go. There's my four arrow keys. I can hit enter. I can start typing things. And every time I do, I'm going to be getting a keyboard event. And inside there, all the information about it. So this is the key that I pressed. It was the right arrow. The key code is 39. Um, shift key. Was I holding the shift key while I did this? Was, um, you know, what was the timestamp of when this happened? Was I holding down the control key? What was the char code? What was I holding down the alt key? So all these things are available to me. It makes it much easier to monitor, and it's always giving me the whole event. So if I was doing things like mouse events, let's try that. Oh, well, actually, first, I'm going to clear this out. If I want to get rid of the targeting, because I still have it on here, you can see I can hit the a key and it shows up. If I'm getting too much information for an event, I can get rid of it by calling unmonitor events. And then, OK, what is it that you want to get rid of? What do you want to stop listening to? So you can target one. This is the one, and it was the key down event. That's the one I want to get rid of. I want to stop listening for that see now it's no longer reporting anything. The other way to get rid of it is just simply refresh your page and all the monitoring will be gone. Okay, so mouse events. Let's say I want to listen to, um, I want to find out mouse move. When I do that, what's going to be available to me? So I can target one of the elements on the page. I could use, you know, document, query selector, the mouse move event. So when I'm moving my mouse around on that element, so there we go. Every time I move on the UL, I'm getting all that information. So now I can come down, open one of those up, and get some details about it. Where was it taking place when I moved the mouse? So since the last movement operation, this is how far I moved. Lots of great information. And again, you want to get rid of it. Just go in here and go unmonitor events. Provide the same two pieces of information. It's just like adding and removing an event listener. There we go. Now it's gone. And you can use this for click, for mouse over, mouse out, mouse move, key press, key up, key down. Any one of the events that you want to track and know when those things are happening. You've got an image on there. You want to know when the load or unload events are happening to that image. You can do that. So. Hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments down below. Uh, the sample code for this page, if you want it, I've got a code just linked to in the description. Um, I also have a link down in the description to the Google Developer website where it talks about where they added this uh, new feature into the browser. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please share it.